But sometimes we do experience the overwhelming reality of our human imperfections, of our weakness and our sinful inclinations. But we are called to pray that human pride does not get the better of us, but to recognize, like St. Paul, that God's grace is indeed sufficient enough for us to grow closer in our relationship with the Blessed Trinity and with our brothers and sisters in Christ. It's not about me, it's not about you, but it should always be about the greater glory of God, of his son Jesus Christ, and his work in the world. We are called to become those channels, those instruments through which Jesus Christ works, his works, and the Holy Eucharist that we are about to receive, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord, is that heavenly food that will strengthen us so that we can say, as St. John the Baptist did, he must increase, I must decrease. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus Christ was rejected by his own people. In faith, we accept him as our Lord and Savior, and we pray in his most holy name. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer that the church may evermore perfectly display the truth of God's love in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord will bless our nation as we celebrate Independence Day, and that we will remain always grateful for the freedom from sin that Christ gives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and to consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to love and honor Christ in our homes 
and in every aspect of our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For the safety of those in the military and for police officers, firefighters, and all first responders, may they be protected by the intercession of St. Michael, the Archangel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, That the sick may be comforted and healed and that those who have died may share the joys of heaven. We pray especially for Thomas Nestupa, for whom this Mass is offered, and for Gary Marin and Gail Miller, who died this past week. We praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please pause now and add your own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. In your goodness and providential care, Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your believing people. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a per pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael the Archangel and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Lawrence, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Take away the sins. 
of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. You 
shall not live within you, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. I am the resurrection. If you believe in me, even though you die, you shall live forever, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to glorify the Lord by our lives. Have a blessed uh, Independence Day tomorrow and thank God for all the gifts we've been blessed with, especially our freedom. And we'll offer the prayer in time of pandemic. Lord Jesus, you came to bring salvation to our world. You humbled yourself to accept death on a cross. Be with us as we confront the spread of the coronavirus with courage and hope. Be present to the sick and to those who accompany them in their suffering. Strengthen our medical professionals and caregivers. Comfort families who are separated from one another. Protect those who are at risk of the virus in their work. Grant wisdom to our civic officials and perseverance to scientists. Spare us from the ravages of this illness and console us in our uncertainty and fear. Unite us in hope, enlighten us in faith, and give us the grace as a church to love one another as you have loved us. Through the intercession of our Heavenly Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, we make this prayer as we place our trust in you. <laughs>